So I've been looking forward to checking out some of the hot springs on this island. And this one is supposed to be pretty interesting. So yes, it is. This one we get uh, hot water in the sea. Intriguing. So many people. It looks pretty crowded today. Yes, I never saw this like this. So I've been to quite a few hot springs. I think this probably ranks as one of the top ones. Being on the ocean is so cool. You have the waves coming in and uh, cold water and hot water mixing all together. Very cool. What a spot, man. Where to next? <laughs> Set you dodge. All right, let's check it out. I've got my paraglider in this bag secured to the back of my bicycle and I'm on a mission to go try and fly. The, the clouds, the weather doesn't really look that great. Actually, the wind has been really bad all week for paragliding, but I've got one spot that might work out. So we're going to at least give it a try. Darn, looks like all the mountains are in the clouds still. It looks like our launch was in the clouds. Also, I think I'm going to have to go on this highway if I want to get there. I think I'm just going to turn around because it doesn't look like the rain's going to clear up today. This would be kind of a cool spot. Maybe you could fly a mini wing there too. You live like just here. This would be a potential paragliding site if the wind was the right direction. We're going to try limpets. Off I go. Okay. Interesting. It's like an oyster, but it's like a little more chewy kind of. Bit. Yeah, it's pretty good. They used to be a lot more. Now we're going to check out this cool abandoned hotel. It was built back in the 80s, but it only stayed open for a couple of years before going out of business. But it's super spooky walking around it. It'd be something to come back here at night, I think. A lot of the local houses in the area are covered with uh, the marble that's been scavenged from this hotel. At one point it was pretty nice though, the, the views from the room are amazing. Unfortunately, it was really overcast and rainy the day we came. Otherwise, there would have been some great views of Citadad and the lakes down there. So you just have to imagine the view. You can kind of see a little bit of lake. I'm here with uh, Nico, and I've, I've seen this catamaran on all the islands. I'm, I've been just behind you <laughs> as we've been sailing. We actually sailed this it's on some pretty big passages. Could you tell actually, me about yeah. it? Actually, uh, yeah. I started in, in France, in the Mediterranean, mm -hmm. uh, that's some two years ago, and I sailed um, to West Africa then, like uh, Senegal and the Gambia and Guinea-Bissau. Oh, wow. That was a highlight uh, for sure. Uh -huh. And then I crossed to Brazil and spent nearly a year there. It was in pandemic time. <laughs> oh, wow. But which was great uh -huh. because we had this huge country that we could discover. Uh -huh. So how um, long did it take to do the crossing? I uh, think Brazil, two, two weeks. Two but weeks. it's the smallest that's crossing I can make, actually. I choose between Guinea-Bissau and Brazil. It's the, the, the show is uh, uh -huh. the slow. Uh, 
shortest distance you can get. <laughs> what were the, what were the conditions like? Like here in the marina. Oh really? <laughs> it was calm? smooth yeah. all the time. Uh, like one meter wave was the maximum. Oh wow! It's, uh, it's That's pretty good. For dream, yeah. Pretty we had a great time there. <laughs> so could you tell me about the boat a little bit? Sure, yeah. Uh, it's a Bora, um, Tiki 26, 26 feet long. Uh, it was built in Holland, so you cannot buy them professionally built. You just uh, build it yourself or mm -hmm. buy it as I did. And it's all Polish, Polynesian design inspired. So you have the two hulls and the cross beams on it mm -hmm. that are only lashed together. And everything is simple like that. The mast is out of wood and um, the idea was to keep it as simple as possible. Also the, the stays on the sides are just attached with ropes. So whatever is possible with ropes was done with ropes. And it's out of plywood, so also easy to, to get, to build it and to maintain, also not too hard. And therefore, because of the lashing, you can also take it on a, on a trailer. You mm -hmm. can put it together. It's, now it's four and a half meter wide. And on the trailer, it's then two meters, two meters something. <laughs> How long does it take to take it all uh, apart? Usually a day. If, if, you, if we would do it every week, you probably would be faster. And I see you've got the uh, Pacific white wind vane. How's that? How's that been working for you? Great. I, I actually only have this for self. I have an uh, electric autopilot, but mm. I rarely use it. I, it's, I do everything with that. Yeah. And um, even in light winds, it works nice. You have to balance the boat a bit more, I guess, mm. than usual, but um, it did it's, it's perfect. Yeah, those it's things are awesome. Only if it's getting faster than like eight knots mm. of that and with big waves, then it starts losing. Oh, okay. After but, a certain speed. It, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But for example, the, the, the crossing back I had, mm. um, with big, bigger waves, like two meter plus, yeah. then you, you start to get surf with each wave. Uh -huh. And so you, you somehow run out so that it cannot steer. So, so one, one of the big differences between like this boat and, and my monohull is you don't have a big lead heavy keel exactly, underneath. Exactly, yeah. So it moves, uh, it's, it's, it's active, it's vivid. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, so uh, it so goes fast, but to... moves a lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. But on the other hand, you don't have... Um, Oh, it's a healing. Yeah, the healing and the roll. So therefore, you never have pressure on the steering. You can uh, you can steer with two fingers. Oh, really? I didn't, so, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Also, that uh. makes it easier for the autopilot to, to steer. There's never mm -hmm. real resistance on it. Interesting. Um, do you ever worry about uh, flipping? Uh, no, mm -hmm. actually never. It is, uh, there's also a big history of this boat. Mm -hmm. And I think there were two of them that capsized in a hurricane. Uh -huh. <laughs> so so until you I, get the hurricane strength yeah. stuff, it's not... And the mast is really same. short. It's it's eight meters. So it's really, um, mm -hmm. it was built uh, defensively, like uh, not pushing it. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah, awesome. You get these like big areas where you can lay out like your, yeah, your dinghy uh, and... Usually I'm not in a marina, so uh -huh. this should be all away. Uh -huh. <laughs> so now I'm struggling a bit. And looks like you've got the living quarters down in the halls with little organizers making the most of your storage space. In rough weather, you need to close everything. You close mm. the hatches and therefore that makes it also safe mm -hmm. that you just have this floating space. So, so <laughs> you, waves you get a lot of wave it. just washing over you yeah. sometimes? I mean, not like really washing over it, mm. but it would be a good bucket of water <laughs> gotcha. if you leave it open. And you've got the, this is like an option to do the deck. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. Yeah. Usually it would be flat and the idea would be just to put on a tent on it. Mm. Uh, but for longer crossing, this is uh, gold. <laughs> yeah, I bet that yeah, yeah. comes in handy. I mean, it looks really well built. Whoever did, you know, built it did a great job. Yeah, yeah, he, he really did. It's... And the mass is wood, he said, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's, it makes it a bit heavy though. It's, uh, I guess, 70 kilogram like this. Mm -hmm. But we, even in Brazil, we did it by hand. Like we had eight people took uh, it off. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, so again, it makes it easy. <laughs> it's very cool. So no boom on the, this? Exactly, yeah, it? the sail is, um, we only have on the, I don't know the word in English, but mm. on top you have a little boom of maybe one and a half meter. Oh, okay. So uh, it's like a gaff, I guess. A gaff, yeah. Ah, okay. it's the same in German as, oh, <laughs> as it? it's in English. Yeah. A gaff, yeah. A gaff rig. Then that's also cool. You have no boom down, so nothing to hit your head. Uh -huh. Because the sail is quite low, it's, it's, it's on this height. So, mm. um, <laughs> and what are you using for like auxiliary uh, motor on this? Uh, well, the, the two and a half horsepower engine I have here. <laughs> oh, right there in the middle there. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, so it's uh, also multifunctional. I can use it for the boat and for the dinghy too. Ah, perfect. <laughs> That's the idea of it. And uh, yeah, but I use it to get into a port or out again, but mm -hmm. never for 
big distance. If you have waves, yeah. it's, it, it's, it, doesn't it even stain. comes out of the water. Yeah, so. it's frustrating <laughs> when it comes out. Cool, man. Well, thanks yeah. for talking to me. I think this is, this is a really interesting vote, and I wish you yeah, good luck welcome. getting back to, to Portugal. <laughs> Instagram or anything, if people want to follow? Um, yeah, I have a website um, called exploratio-mundi.ch. Uh, Okay, <laughs> I'll stick a link to that in the, yeah, the, be cool, yeah. the description. <laughs> it's not up to date though, but uh, there are some photos on it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm sure lots of people will be interested in uh, this this type of boat. It's it's yeah. you don't see a lot of uh, of these out out here. Mostly, it's these big, you know, fifty foot. Yeah, 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 true. Things, but it, it, it attracts, I guess. It's definitely possible, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching and a huge uh, shout out to my host uh, Roscoe and Nuna for showing me around the, the island and uh, when we ride your horses uh, had, had a really great time and thank you for Nico for showing us uh, giving us that tour of the catamaran I think, I think that's pretty cool to see love to see people doing like those big adventures on small boats they had, they had three guys on that catamaran in the next video we'll sail over to Villafranca Island and then uh, I'll post the video with the Ireland Passage so I hope you'll subscribe for those and i guess there's also a little bell button next to the subscribe button so i'm told if you click that you'll be more likely to get the notification when the new video is posted um, i don't really know uh, i guess I'll, I'll see you guys then